about London Spitfire that makes them such a contender is the fact that they are so good at team coordination. I mean, looking at just the first map of Li Xiong, Hongto Spark had triple the eliminations. It was like 152 to 46. But London Spitfire were still able to make that map competitive and bring it to three rounds. So what's going to happen on Route 66 when it does look like, you know, Hongshu Spark able to go for that mechanical skill of Shy getting picks, Ushui being able to control the backline of London Spitfire. But on the flip side, London just playing so solidly together as a team. Yeah, a pristine defense. And I wonder if this is really going to be Spark's map. Like you said, they've got a decent win rate on it, uh, of course. But overall, Escort not being a game mode they're too fond of. Quick and pick for Backbone. Oh, Mr. Grapple. Very unlucky. There's no hog. Well, I regret to inform you. It is just the default comp. It, 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 was, it was to prepare for a close hold. Blood is Pitfire yeah. were going for things for that would be really quick one shot potential. So quick. Oh, super. And a what was that? When it's super rich, he just fell from the sky, I suppose. Skates ran out of energy, you have to go charge him. Not sure. That's an amazing first pick for the Spitfire. No speed for Spark means Alpha Yi is going to have a tough time just getting on his opponents. Yeah, and Gushui looks a little bit caught out as well, waiting for those jump cooldowns to come back. But look at this, once again, Hottie trying to go after Shy to make sure that he doesn't have quick access to London Spitfire. Yeah, permanently. Like, Shy's just taking it. Look at this again, Hardy. Just every single time Shy's on the ground, just peeking out, hitting him with a right click, peeking out, hitting him with a right click. Force Terro into position where he's like perma healing him too. Always a good option. All right, Shy's taking the high ground once again. The Super Rich joins the fight. Or it's not really been a fight as of yet, really. It's been London free pushing for the time being. Shy hunting for heads with a right click. But a bubble from Hardy actually stops him going for that railgun. He does end up hitting it onto Hardy, but that can be healed up quite easily. A nice swift step from Landon to get him out of trouble, but Shy, do not turn your back to him. Landon jumps up to the high ground, using the Suzu on himself so he doesn't get instant kill. But now it is Sparker trying to get out of the way of that disruptive shot, and Hardy, wrong place, wrong time, wrong postcode. I learned a Spitfire, I can get a wipe, but still get the payload wipe bar is pretty nice, but these fights are taking quite a while to actually get. That yeah, was a two minute fight. Pretty yeah, much. exactly. I mean, you've got two in minutes and 15 seconds left. And really now looking at the first ultimates for the game coming online. But this oh, is what happened. Okay. So oh, Admiral, what a yeah. Boot from Admiral. <laughs> yeah, he just kind of skated past Super Rich and boomed him into Hottie's loving embrace. Wow. But now, like. This is where the ultimates get like pretty interesting. You know, Reaper a little bit far behind for both teams, but here okay. it goes, doing her thing. Yep, doing her thing. Laying down the Katsune rushes, and there's a primal rage. You've already forced the power slide in Hugushwe there, so he can't just chase Sparker, but now has to deal with his sound barrier. Speaking of which, he's going to receive one of his own. No kills coming through just yet. A big reset on the leap there for Gushwe, putting the bubble, separating the Spitfire, forcing him to play in gas station. Shy gets taken care of by Sparker. And the Death Blossom from Alpha Yi, not good enough. The Backbone just bumps his chest with his own. The London Spitfire now pushing their way onto first point, And they're going to cap it. And that's Teru with a miracle play. But that ain't going to happen. What was so impressive about Backbone is he used his own Death Blossom as a response to Alpha Yi's. And so when you know that Hottie has that Winston bubble laid down and Alpha Yi's extended a little bit farther past that, Backbone can use that as a nice cushion to make sure that he is going to be safe. But that does mean a lot of ultimates are off the board here. Hangzhou Spark with a heavy investment that's going to be everything off the table. And Sparker still has this overclock to work with, especially on this nice straightaway that the second point provides. This should be really good for Sparker to free shoot. You've got to take that high ground though. If you're the London Spitfire right now, overclock, power slide onto high ground, straight inside the bubble. I mean, you're more than happy with that if you're the Hangzhou Spark right now. Sparker trying so hard to get value with this overclock. Even Gushue with a little 180 there, making sure he doesn't get a headshot. Just turns into free ultimate charge for Teru's during his second Katsune rush of the game. London are getting a lot of free movement on this payload, but Gushui is just frying everybody in this small room with his Tesla cannon, using that Primal Rage too. There's not too much hope left. Nice Primal Rage from Gushui. I'll end that fight quite quickly. And these team kills, Hangzhou Spark, 
doing a very good job of just cleaning everybody up from Spitfire. No remaining members. A lot of support here for Hangzhou Spark in the arena. As now it's time for Kiriko to lay down in their second Kitsune rush of this round. But Shai can go in and back that up with the overclock. And that's going to be really big, especially if you can get aggressive. Tigran is so nasty from the spark. You have to invest so much to try and get on them. I mean, you get a lot of free fire. Not so much if you're Reaper, unfortunately. Teru does. There's a Suzu on himself. Bit of bit selfish with that one recently, but it ends up working out for the spark nonetheless. Alpha Yi pulling out the miniguns. Doesn't manage to get uh, much stuff done either. Again, on this Spitfire, moving this payload for free. Kind of running rings around the spark. Yeah, they may have high ground, but they need to be able to touch that point. Shy takes care of Sparker with that overclock. And now Hardy eventually paying attention to him, but the double pocket and then some to make sure he stays alive. A nice leap, but no, London Spitfire end up just taking the payload away from the Spark. Sparker, a little C9 in the chat. Back one, too. I, I saw a sign in the crowd. You're going to have to add a tally to that one, I think. But this was impressive where London Spitfire, they just kind of flipped the sides where they wrapped around Bahantra Spark and where they laid down the Kitsune Rush, they were still able to find value from it, whereas Teru tried to send it right down the stairs of the building, and London Spitfire could just kite away from that damage. Now that that cart's right in the corner, though, back one once again can use this Death Blossom a little bit more reactively as Alpha Yi is working up to his as well. But also when you look at how these ultimates have been rotated, Sparker on this final point. Still has that overclock too that he will be able to work with. Oh, speaking of which, doesn't need the overclock to kill Alfie like that. Nothing getting good time on this point. Two minutes to go, and this payload almost at the final checkpoint. Spark just need to be proactive here. Gushway bumps his little head. No! And he gets eviscerated. Just melted in the front of Sparker. With that overclock, you can't really line up either. You're going to have to get back to the payload or to the point even, or the spore just anywhere. That's safety, that's cover. Alfie, at least, is going to hold down the fort with that Death Blossom. Gushui's back in the mix, too. Well, Alfie just kind of waited for cooldowns to be offline so he could go in and hit the Death Blossom. Hottie stalled for a little bit, but with that cleanup, Hangzhou Spark will be able to hold their defense strong. London Spitfire, they use the overclock, but that's kind of it. And now they're going to have four ultimates to be able to work with here to contend against the three that Hangzhou Spark have. But it's really about the sustain here. Primal Rage for Gushui and Hadi. The sound barrier is coming online here for Super Rich and Admiral as well. But there's the overwhelming damage on the side of the Spark. Yeah, Kasuni Rush and a Death Blossom for Backbone. He's going straight to the back line. That's a lot of damage, but a lot of that got absorbed by Super Rich's beat. They've already forced out for Yi, and you can see the target. It is Shy. It is out for Yi as Hardy swinging his fists. 45 seconds to go. The London Spitfire just need to take down Teru now. A lot of that healing disappearing. Bodies all over the floor. The spark, very little semblance on this point. The London Spitfire finishing with time. What a nice example of how a later sound barrier can really help to put on the pressure after London Spitfire sustained through the damage output of the spark. We're able to overwhelm with just the health. They may have that dog in them. They got that Winston in them. <laughs> I mean, Hardy's Primal Rages here have been so good. A little bit, a little bit absent, I'd say, on King's Row. Now really stepping up to the plate. Like the, the focus fire on Shy right now, you could tell, like, just getting him in a position where he can't go for aggressive angles, aggressive peaks, which is how Spark have found so much success. Must be quite frustrating, you know, having the Winston just permanently jumping at you, permanently bubbling you, getting in your line of sight with the overclock. I mean, Sparker can feel that pressure too, though, right? Gushue is one of those tanks that have been probably the best example of being able to lock down the Sojourn, but what a big pivot for London Spitfire, because I feel like that pressure from Hadi was very absent from Li Shang as well. Not even just the King's Row that you were mentioning. So it's been really good for them as, to work with the payload too. Just as that payload gets to push, London Spitfire have also kind of walked away with a lot of free push on this map and King's Row too. Yeah. Spark seems more than willing to kind of give them a position. But the London Spitfire just starting up their engines, roaring. They will take a mile. 
And that's the problem here. The Spark just needs to be able to contest the payload constantly. They are giving up so much space. All right, let's see what Spark can do on their offense. Four minutes on that timer. Uh, I think Super Rich might have to be a little bit careful. He's very lucky that Admiral is on top of big girls right now and not around this rock fixture. Do what he did to him last round. But he's kind of posturing for position as both Sparker and Shy are looking for an opportunity. But Taro on the flank here, Gushway following that up with a dive. Oh, nice Suzu. Very well timed Suzu there. Keeping his team up. Topping everybody off before they try to go in again with those cooldowns are back. What is this damage? Sparker narrowly avoiding that final kunai which would have sent him to the grave. This is a ridiculous pressure coming out from Terra right now. The headshots, 3x multiplier, remember. Double headshot on a DPS will take him out. Look at Terra, look, look at this guy. Nice Suzu again. Just instantly, as soon as London Spitfire tried to do something about the Kiriko, he instantly Suzu's himself and Hardy puts himself in danger. Eventually gets taken down, finally. But the Spitfire, they're losing numbers. And Alfie getting free push on the point. And, and at this point, it's really just Admiral and Landon left. And Landon was able to make that hero play on King's Ain't Rome, happening. but Ain't happening. It's not enough this time around. First point capture for Hangzhou Spark. But a lot of the healing output and the damage coming out from Admiral and Landon is going to net them their ultimates first. So that's really big when London Spitfire are looking at trying to make a recontest. But Hangzhou Spark taking an aggressive oh, positioning so that they can give some space for Shy and Alpha Yi to navigate it. So I really like this rotation from Hangzhou Spark right here. Taking that high ground completely away from the London Spitfire. Oh, Admiral. My word. That's not where you want to be. Remember, they're on the opposite side of the map, so you got to do something because Gooseway's in your backline. And he's got infinite health. The backup from Terror and Super H is a mess right now. He ain't going down that quick. Well, after the headshot from the railgun, yeah, he will uh, end up falling, but it doesn't really matter all too much. The Spark end up pushing out. Only used Primal in that fight, but same with the London Spitfire. Okay, how does Spark set up on this point? We saw London, how they ended up just rotating pretty much for free. I want to see Teru just... Go on the flank again. Go on the flank, just yeah, get damage down. I was going to say something not broadcast friendly, but... <laughs> yeah, well, uh, that's what we're looking at here. Teru just kind of continuing to look at the back line of London's Spitfire and force out the resources like the Suzu and also the Amp coming in from Admiral. And what a great Kitsune rush to control the high ground. Alfie, teleport on the high ground. Oh, okay, no. London Spitfire sniffing that one out quite quickly. Same thing's happening right now, by the way. Another teleport. That was that Kitsune rush helping with that cooldown. High ground control for the Spark as they push that payload. London Spitfire suffering from the same thing Spark were. Losing control of the point and having it pushed for free. And now Spark, they're in a priority position where they can just jump on the London Spitfire. Oh, Shy! Sparker pops the overclock for Shy. Just instantly taking him down with a rail of his own. Luckily enough, though, the London Spitfire do end up popping that beat, so no one goes down. No heads are getting popped. Oh, but Landon exploding on the front line. No main healer now for the London Spitfire. They just go rely on Apple. You can see all those health bars just super low. They're just corralling them into this bar. A big lasso and a good move from the Spark. Just isolating one target after the next. And this is going to be point B unlocked. A four minute time bank to push into the last point. I think Spark are getting the energy from the crowd right now. And they might need it, especially after the monumental goal that London Spitfire were able to do on King's Row, third point. They wrap around again, but Shy constantly, time and time again, getting these picks first. Oh, out for you as well, setting up for that Death Blossom. He's going to hit it good and proper if that bubble goes down. Oh, Wraith form instantly. Got a little bit scared there, maybe some nerves. I'd be scared too if Paddy was Primal Rage in front of me for that payload. Is getting away from the London Spitfire. They gotta do something. Backbone on the point now. Contesting. Landed. Swift steps away from Alpha Yi, who's now in a little bit of trouble. Here's that Death Blossom straight in front of Backbone, but he only guarantees himself one kill. The London Spitfire and the Spark have barely equal spawns ish at this point. Oh, what a shot 
It's still an extremely scrappy one. Sparker now getting chased down. Actually got gifted the mega health back there from Gooshway, who's now extremely low. Manages to get the retreat, but it'll be a five on five, I can imagine, in this next fight. You see Sparker's retreat up to the platform, though? That was really big because it forced Gooshway to use a jump in order to get back to the access to him. But it's going to be a big backup here for Spark as they look to try to close the distance on this final stretch of the map. And Landon's ready to try to control this high ground. Dangerous Kasune rush there from the Hangzhou Spark. Landon's going to do the same thing. Doesn't get the Suzu in time. It goes off but doesn't connect with the ground or him. So he ends up falling. A beat for the Spark. Only his three, but Teru falls. A backbone! Sparker, even in the tides. 18 kill for London. And with two minutes to go, Sparks hopes and their support ultimates whittling down. Sometimes the best defense is the best offense, and it's really big that Backbone was able to get that damage down with the Death Blossom, especially after both the Kitsuna Rush and the Sound Barrier from Super Rich were going in for that extra sustain. Hungry Spark now, less than two minutes. London Spitfire have already eaten off half of the time bank for this third and final point. Shy, though, can he get a big pick here as he tries to make a rotation for this overclock? Right. Sparker at least knows where he is. Oh, he's caught in a ladder. He's all good, though. Got himself untangled. As Hardy ends up leaping away. Again, mad respect for the Sojourn. And now Sparker's trying to set up, and he takes down out for Yi. A big kill for the London Spitfire, and Spark know it. It's going to stop Alpha Yi's progress towards this ultimate. And Hangzhou Spark, they really want to take some eco pushes here as they are coming down to that one minute remaining. But London, this has been another nice rotation of ultimates here where they only needed the overclock in that one pick to keep Hangzhou Spark away. Oh, Hottie's just chasing down Terra right now, but he is able to get back to the team once he starts to see this. Let's get back to the big rotation with Hangzhou Spark, knowing Hadi was off to the races on the right hand side. A lot of low health members, but Backbone surging forward with that beat in tow. Final fight for the Spark coming up with 40 seconds to go. The Spark need a pick, but they're not going to find it. It's actually Backbone who comes up large for the London Spitfire. 30 seconds and Spark, they have not been in this fight for a good three minutes now. And they got it back up here too, because with the pick on their shy, no one on the Spark can get staggered if they want a chance at completing this map. So 15 seconds, Teru gonna try to create some space with the Katsune Rush, but Landon strikes first! Katsune Rush is good, and Teru instant Suzu's himself with a huge Death Blossom from Alpha Yi! And now the chase down continues, over time approaching, a quick, concise team kill for the Spark. And the London Spitfire switching to the fast heroes to get back in time, but no, Shy shuts it down as they claim checkpoint three. OT was the finish. Score. So it'll be a minute versus a minute and 30 seconds. Turning out to be quite a close affair on Route 66. A map type Rose, you were saying that Spark struggle on. And you could see signs of that at the very end, but they still managed to clutch it out. Yeah, and at the end too, when Spark were able to divide and conquer to control the spawns. You know, Gushui on one side, and then you've got Shy on the other, ready to go with a charged up railgun shot. Yeah, no Shy, no win. Yeah, okay, okay. Reasonable I mean, take. Is, yeah, fair and reasonable, fair and reasonable. London Spitfire are going to defend first, though, with the higher time bank. I mean, we looked at how Hangzhou Spark took a bit of time to be able to capture that first objective. This might be good for London Spitfire to hold a close defense. And maybe not let that payload go too far. Let's have a look how this ended up going down. Instant Suzu on the ground, so you're standing in the Katunia Rush, so that will come up so quickly. And then Alpha Yi. Oh my, descending on them. Like he's Batman onto a villain. All right, Spark, you got a minute. What do you got? Well, London Spitfire are going to take the high ground on Big Earls to start out their defense as Super Rich is doing a bit of a scouting mission while riding on these rocks. 
Uh, the disruptor shot here, trying to force London Spitfire back, but that's giving some space for Sparker to operate in. But Teru gonna try the same thing again. Does he get away with it this time? Well, I mean, I'm always looking at him, so they can definitely call him out. Oh, nice Suzu! My word, that would have been an instant kill there. You saw that Kunai going directly for Sparker's temple. He's still there. He is still doing damage. Someone's got to look at him. Another nice shot. Might just do it. Sparker goes low. Backbone and Shy end up getting traded out. It is 10 seconds, and Sparker in control of the payload, but not the high ground. And now it's Sparker's time to turn this one up to 11. Right, Kusha is going to try to jump up, though, to force Sparker off the high ground, but he still has control. How getting really low, though? The pressure that Teru is exerting right now is immense with those kunais. His accuracy is so good, so clean. Uh, but Land is going to be the first one to get the Katsune Rush online, and Teru's fighting to be able to get that up. Yeah, not enough healing coming out from Teru right now to match him in that regard, Rose. And overtime, stick it down, you've got to touch. Oh, my God. Okay, Alfie does manage to do it, but had to burn the Wraith Walk to do so. So maybe this is a time for London to go. Kitsune Rush comes out as Spark lose one. The ultimate's coming on life for Spark, but he has touch! Corral onto the health pack. And that was it. That is where Spark's push will end. A lot of cheers for London right now. A minute and 30 on the clock. A little C9, it's all good. That was the big uh, problem there, really, for Teru and Super Rich. Their support ults were coming online so soon, so they're wanting to play a little bit more reserved, make sure they stay alive. They don't want to get picked because they know those are the ultimates that will turn those fights around and win it for them on that first point. And Spark don't want to play into Landon's Kitsune Rush. That's almost kind of giving them just such an edge. So you do have to back up from that so you don't get staggered, but the clock ticks away, overtime activates, and step off the cart, that can be it sometimes. So let's look at the replay, because this is the final moments where you're gonna see this pressure on the cart, where Shy gets pushed off by Hottie, Alpha Yi gets taken out by Sparker, and there's just no communication on who's gonna come back to get the retouch. Oh, come on, Observers, why are you gonna do that? You Nobody cannot, likes that. You cannot unsee it. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I, I got ruined like three months ago with <laughs> yeah. what that is. It's just the tile in the spawn room. It's gross. It doesn't look like And that. the devs won't change. It's great. I hate it. Nerf the team. All right, a minute and 20. Spitfire. They just need that one pick, that one opening. Lane is getting so much healing too because Spitfire are doing a great job of just poking their heads out, taking some damage. Even the disruptor shot, Sparker is very happy to just sit in it knowing that he's safe. He's not going to get his head taken off and Land is just going to get the healing. He focuses on the healing so the Kitsune Rush can get online in time. And so now that we have a minute remaining, this is plenty for Landon to be able to get that up wow. and ready. You see Land in there looking shy directly in the eyes. You got lucky your team maybe a little bit more there, maybe. The backbone goes down. You got one more fight if you're London right now. Quick reset, quick reset, quick reset. That's the aim of the game. You gotta just die. Go again. You cannot afford to stall out right now. And Scoochface just chasing him to the spawn. A nice bubble and a punch. Backbone ends up taking out Teru though. A quick switch to the Winnermaker, back to the Reaper after he picks off one of the supports. Okay, well now that window of opportunity is going to start to dwindle, but London Spitfire have still carved out a chance for themselves. Disruptor shot though, all that damage that Landon was trying to heal up to get this continuing rush online is starting to work against him a little bit as Shy racing Landon right now to get the overclock. Three space has been bought by that headshot. Bahadi no longer the space maker. Overtime is here and London Spitfire have to fight a 4v5. Apple super low. Shy looking to end this one right here, right now. They're just getting batted away. Overtime's ticking down and Apple and Sparker. They're completely isolated. Goose Waste Primal Rage forcing them away from the rest of their team. Asusu already used. Superish doesn't end up falling down. Spark now lose their priority. Their DPS is just too good though. But Hardy build up to a Primal Rage. Yeah, Hardy's Primal Rage. Gonna block him at the door. And they can't punch. Off the back. A goose waste primal. Bashing London Spitfire.
away from that payload. It looked like Hardy was there to touch. Had a primal of his own. 